Let's talk about Stray on PlayStation 5 and PC, the game where you're an ordinary cat lost in a mysterious cyberpunk city void of all humans just trying to find your way back to the sunlight. The concept is unique and adorable, but is there enough food in the bowl to keep you coming back? While the simplicity of the design is both a strength and weakness, as there's a hearty single-serving story in the meow mix of platformer and adventure, but little gameplay incentive to come back for seconds. Stray opens up with a beautiful thunderstorm amongst the silence of nature, setting the stage for where this game really shines, the atmosphere. From the beginning nature scenes to the neon-soaked streets of the dead city, the game effortlessly immerses you in its landscape with a low and tight camera to reflect the tiny vantage point of your four fuzzy feet exploring a big new world. All of this is accompanied by a brilliantly mellow, sometimes stealthy soundtrack mixed with futuristic robot noises to paint a soothing and mysterious image with every note. Curiosity is indeed the thing that drives this cat adventure. Where did the humans go? And who are all these robots? Why is it so dark? What happens if I paw this crate of beer bottles off of this high shelf? The desire for answers will keep you in full stride to the end. That is, unless, of course, you don't get distracted by your feline urges to scratch trees and couches, rub up against robot legs, take naps on various cushions, and otherwise meow incessantly at anything and everything. But beyond the nuances of a cat, Stray generally has two types of gameplay situations. You'll either be jumping from predetermined points on air conditioners, girders, and rooftops, solving light puzzles as you go, or you'll be exploring one of its more open town areas where you'll collect items, interact and trade with friendly robots, and learn more about the peacefully dystopian world. The linear platforming sections of running and jumping are nice enough, but they lack any sort of meat to chew, not for lack of the developers trying. Beyond just running and jumping, sometimes you have to outrun scary enemies, dodge searchlights, or even destroy enemies with a special flashlight, the latter of which runs its course almost immediately before becoming a chore. The town exploration sections, on the other hand, feel very much like a good point-and-click adventure game with so many objects to interact with, hidden nooks and secrets to find, items to collect, and character personalities to witness. I found myself looking forward to these moments the most, eager to solve trade sequences and interact with even the most pointless NPCs just to see what they had to say. But wait, how does a cat use a flashlight and communicate with robots, you ask? Introducing B12, a robot companion who translates all robo-speech for you and hangs out in your backpack when he's not floating around like Floyd from Jet Force Gemini. B12 and the cat work together to unravel the mysteries of the city, developing a friendship as they go through their shared hardships, which tacks on a little bit of extra to the story overall. The plot follows B12 very closely, as his existence is part of the puzzle behind the history of this world. However, there are times when you will have to go without him, and suddenly communication becomes more like feline charades. For example, you might need to get someone to open a door for you by scratching at it, or meow to ask for assistance from a robot citizen. Unfortunately, many of the cat animations feel very rigid, taking away from the cuteness with an obvious sense of a computer-generated character. And well, that is Stray. The overall intrigue surrounding the robot citizens and the captivating lighting of the cyberpunk streets will leave you hooked for the game's brief four to six hour runtime, balancing that time well with basic platforming, puzzle solving, character interactions, and item focused world exploration. Though the cat animation could be more nimble to reflect the actual animal, the charm is not lost and Blue 12 embraces all behaviors of their favorite pets, even when they annoyingly walk on your keyboard. But although the immersion and cuteness are both excellent, and the entire game concept is a breath of fresh air, there's not much to it. There is a speedrun challenge to beat the game in under two hours, but beyond that, there's next to nothing in terms of replay value. Once you've explored what each robot citizen has to say and have seen the world, the vast emptiness and irrelevance of many of the NPCs really starts to stand out. 
and those linear sections of platforming also begin to feel really boring without anything else to do but run and jump. I do not see myself replaying this game again, but I did enjoy the leisurely pacing and calm demeanor of the very first playthrough. Stray is a fantastic escape from reality packed with character and charm for its brief moment under the neon lights, but some of its existence feels too hollow and forgettable, leaving me to give it a 6.5 out of 10. A nice statement. A nice single-serving adventure. A meow mix of a time. But anyway, if you enjoyed this brief review, maybe check out some of my other reviews like Cana Bridge of Spirits and Kaze and the Wild Masks. I'm Bill from Good Old Days Gaming, and thanks for watching.